This morning, the New York Times is getting heat for saying it should be okay for you to get high. What? After voters in Colorado and Washington State gave the green light for recreational use, the Times editorial board now wants the rest of the country to have the same opportunity. Jan Crawford is in Washington with the reasoning and the response. Jan, this story getting a lot of conversation. Good morning. Well, good morning, Gail. It really is. And at times, it's really just confronting it head on, not only with that editorial you mentioned, but with articles all week and an online discussion this afternoon saying it's time for the federal government to let states decide. The Times staked its position with the headline, Repeal Prohibition Again, and an American flag with stars changing to marijuana leaves. It's true that we have never endorsed uh, legalization of drugs before. David Firestone is a member of the Times editorial board. I don't see it as being any different than uh, having a, a couple of uh, uh, glasses of wine with dinner uh, or a martini. If you want to make that choice as an adult, uh, you should be allowed to make it. The editorial argues that the war on pot is actually worse for America than using pot, saying the social costs of marijuana laws are vast and the result is racist, noting that enforcement falls disproportionately on young black men. Urging Congress to repeal the federal marijuana ban, it also discounts the health effects, saying marijuana is far less dangerous than alcohol. Oh, yeah. It may seem like edgy stuff from the so-called paper of record, but it reflects a sharp shift in public opinion. In the early 1990s, then-candidate Bill Clinton famously said, I didn't like it and didn't inhale. Most people then, 78 percent, oppose legalization, but now only 42 percent oppose it. In recent years, 37 states plus the District of Columbia have liberalized marijuana laws to allow for medical use or to lessen penalties for possession. The real change started in Colorado, where voters approved the sale of marijuana for recreational use. But there have been problems. Legalization has been linked to at least two deaths, as well as incidents of children accidentally ingesting marijuana-laced food. And staunch critics of legalization like Kevin Sabat, founder of the group Smart Approaches to Marijuana, say those calling for legalization, like the New York Times, are wrong. Well, what the New York Times is calling for is a really radical move that counters all the major medical associations that have looked at this. And it wouldn't be good for America. Do we really want to encourage a stone society? Now, there were efforts in the 1970s to legalize marijuana, but it never went anywhere. And the Times acknowledges that Congress is really unlikely to uh, act here. But it said it wanted to start the conversation, hoping for a change in the years to come. Nora. All right, Jan, thank you. Certainly started the conversation. It has indeed. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. I think so, too. Yeah, I think the, so states too. Are, the states are passing law. That's a democracy in action.